I've got the strangest thing happening to me. I'm walking along down the shops. I've got this galah that's got a liking for me. It's right on dusk. And it's doing these circuits around me. Look at this. Maybe it's someone's pet. Oh god, I hope it doesn't get hit by a car. It's flying very low across the traffic there. Oh, do, 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 do. Come on, come here. Oh my goodness, I've never seen anything like this. Oh, this is going to turn to tragedy. I think it just flies way too close to the traffic. Hey! Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 How do you talk to Galaz? Get up, get up, get up! My goodness. Come on. I wonder if that's someone's pet and it's uh it's lost its way. Let's see anything I can assume it's right on dusk, it's when birds go to, you know, they go to their hidey holes. I'm trying to do my best galah talk here. We've just had a development here. Uh, this lady knows about this bird and the owner is coming. It's a stunning critter. It had a liking for me. It was circling me all the way down the road. There's a nice close-up of this bird. Um, beautiful thing. A galah of some sort. Uh, highly intelligent and for some reason it liked me a lot. I was out on a very late walk with my son and he's now looking back at the galah in a lady's head. And I'm just saying, hey, just be quiet and be careful. We don't want to scare the bird any further. The lady with the bird on her head has just said to me, the owner of the bird is just up here because she saw that lady's car. I hope that makes sense. This is one of the craziest walks I've ever been on. That bird, actually, before I started making the video, it was swooping down at me. Um, very strange to see that going on. I'm just trying to get this lady uh, to come back to her galah. <laughs> Welcome to Australia. <laughs> Never seen that before in my life. Very, very friendly good laugh. That was sort of wild, uh, a little bit different. Never had that happen to me before in my life. Uh, there is good news. The bird's name is Charlie. Charlie is back with its owner. Apparently Charlie can be quite mischievous. Uh, the story about why Charlie was out and um, doing things he shouldn't be doing was apparently my suburb here, a big bird of prey, had uh, scared Charlie and he'd taken uh, flight in fright. And then what happened was a whole bunch of wild cockatoos or cockatiels decided to play games of Charlie. And I remember when I first had the bird circling me, it circled me about four or five times before I started the video. I remember hearing the chatter of other wild birds. And I could see, well, my, I thought, wow, this is different. This bird seems different. It's doing things that wild birds don't do. And that's why I thought, if I put my arm up, maybe I'll be lucky it'll land on me. It was actually trying to find a little landing patch. It saw me as a nice person to be with. It's proof that I still attract birds. Anyway, Charlie is safe and well. And I was actually very scared there because Charlie's circuits around me was going right into the traffic on a very busy road. And I really thought Charlie wasn't going to be around on the planet much longer if he kept playing that game. Yeah, that was fun with Charlie, wasn't it? Yeah! Crazy stuff. Uh, yeah, um, cockatiels or cockatoos, wonderful critters. They make lovely pets. Two weeks later. Well, I've got an update about the short billed Corella. I've actually bumped into the owner and I told the owner the story of how I met Charlie on the road uh, one night and Charlie was distressed. And it ends up that the owner and me have got a connection through the film industry and I've actually met this person before via the rats. The rats on Hacksaw Ridge, so we had a good old chat and I've actually learned a lot about Charlie here and he goes on something that's called a flork. Got it. It's hard, to, flork is like a flight and a walk and Charlie has often been walked in my suburb but I, I do a lot of walking but I don't see Charlie that often but of course I've met Charlie and if I'm really lucky Charlie will come back to me and remember me. Now I've got Charlie on my arm here. Uh, he's only young, eight months. Oh, he's very, he's actually nice chewing time. the phone. He's chewing the phone. Uh, and these critters uh, will live up to what, 80 years? Like they're like human lifespans. And he's still chewing the phone. You bugger. You're a he's, <laughs> he's up close and very personal. <laughs> 
Charlie's back with the owner. I'm going to do a very nice thing to this lady. I'll put the links to her company because she deals with animals and I think Charlie could be well utilized in a production. I'm giving Charlie the thumbs up because Charlie's very camera savvy. And one final look at um, Charlie here, just around my shoes here. A very, very interesting bird. One of the most interesting I've ever seen. He's just seen your coffee. Oh, he's after my coffee now. Good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> Is he a caffeine pound? No, thank God. We, do, we don't need any more, any more arousal in here. Bye, Charlie. Bye. <laughs>